William J. Bernstein, The Birth of Plenty, How the Prosperity of the Modern Work Was Create. Dive into the fascinating world of prosperity and wealth distribution as we explore the book summary of The Birth of Plenty, How the Prosperity of the Modern World Was Created, by William J. Bernstein. Unravel the complex mechanisms behind the economic disparities among nations and gain insights into the critical factors that contributed to the unprecedented wealth growth during the Industrial Revolution. Discover the importance of institutions such as property rights, individual liberties, the rule of law, scientific rationalism, and capital market structure in fostering economic development. Embark on a journey that takes you through how nations rose and fell and learn from history's lessons to better understand today's world and pave the way for a more prosperous future. The Illusion of National Wealth National prosperity is not about physical objects or natural resources, nor is it a guarantee for the future. While some countries are wealthy today, it wasn't always the case, and their economic status can change. For centuries, Europe lagged behind the Islamic and Chinese civilizations. Within Europe, former superpowers like Spain are now also rans. Ultimately, national prosperity remains an elusive pursuit, subject to factors beyond physical wealth. The Industrial Revolution and Economic Inequalities The Industrial Revolution changed the face of the world's economy by ushering in an unprecedented increase in wealth. However, this sudden growth gave rise to great disparities in its distribution. The reason for this is that institutions such as property rights, individual liberties, the rule of law, the intellectual tolerance implicit in scientific rationalism, and capital market structures played a vital role in economic growth. The most critical components of the Industrial Revolution were personal liberty, physical and intellectual property rights, freedom to use scientific methodology, available capital, and convenient communication and transportation. In contrast, ancient civilizations lacked property rights, freedom of scientific inquiry, and readily available capital, leading to stagnated economic growth. The Industrial Revolution's success came from the combination of social, technical, and political factors that allowed for efficient mechanisms of wealth creation. The Birth of Democracy and the Rule of Law The evolution of property rights and the rule of law played a vital role in the birth of democracy. The ancient civilization of Attica introduced the concept of private property, equality, and self-sufficient defense, promoting economic growth. Solon, the lawgiver, recognized that an independent judiciary was necessary to protect property rights. Rome's failure to guarantee civil rights and protection of property rights led to its downfall. On the other hand, England's Magna Carta, together with subsequent royal and parliamentary charters, became the cornerstone of individual freedoms, paving the way for private property to replace the inefficient commons of English agriculture, enabling the Industrial Revolution, and the protection of intellectual property. The rule of law also proved fundamental in the creation of the United States' first written constitution, which marked a significant milestone in constitutional history. Science and Tradition Science and tradition have often been in conflict with one another. Before the 16th century, most civilizations relied on tradition alone for their understanding of the world. However, scientific understanding in Europe started to deviate from the traditional explanations of planetary movements. Copernicus, Galileo, and other scientists discovered that the planets revolve around the Sun and not the Earth, which challenged traditional teachings about astronomy. Galileo's opponents feared that this revelation would ultimately question theological truths and undermine the traditional interpretation of the Bible. The scientific method, unlike tradition, proceeds through observation, hypothesis, experimentation, and testing. The events of the ensuing centuries prove that scientific inquiry is crucial for human progress. The Evolution of Capital Markets the availability of capital is essential to economic growth, and the evolution of capital markets played a crucial role in facilitating this availability. For centuries, lending and borrowing were risky activities due to the lack of institutions, technology, and secure property rights. 
However, the development of strong Dutch protections of property rights and availability of low interest rates made it possible to undertake enormous tasks such as building dikes and turning sea bottom into fertile agricultural land. The evolution of capital markets also brought about the joint stock company, which helped fund the great innovations of the Industrial Revolution. Today, the interest rate on loans denotes the risk of the loan, indicating investor confidence in the system and the eagerness to put their capital into the hands of entrepreneurs. Liberty, Capital, and Property Rights for Economic Prosperity In Why Nations Fail, Darren Asemoglu and James Robinson explain why liberty, capital, and property rights are key to a nation's economic development, using the examples of France, Spain, and England. Spain and France were wealthy empires, yet failed to industrialize like England due to lack of liberty and the rule of law. The Spanish crown protected monopolies, discouraged inquiry, and was financially profligate, while Jean-Baptiste Colbert's economic regulations stifled entrepreneurship, and taxes were high in France. On the other hand, England prospered due to liberties and property rights that created incentives to take risks. The Dutch, with little farmland, became prosperous by draining the sea, and New England in the U.S., with scant resources, became richer than the Deep South due to the same principles. These lessons from history teach us that extending property rights and legal protections to the poor can help develop nations like those in Latin America. In conclusion, The Birth of Plenty highlights the remarkable changes that occurred during the Industrial Revolution, leading to the economic disparities we witness today. Crucial elements such as personal liberty, property rights, the freedom to pursue scientific inquiry, access to capital, and efficient communication and transport played crucial roles in shaping a nation's economic prosperity. With examples like England's Magna Carta and the evolution of capital markets, Bernstein illustrates the way these factors enabled rapid technological advancements and wealth generation. Ultimately, the book highlights the importance of fostering liberty, strong institutions, and legal protections to ensure continued global economic development and the betterment of all.